Here's a little tip. So this tip is what to do when you've got a little bit of leftover clay and it's starting to dry out. And if you leave it, it probably just goes solid. So what I'm going to do is just create some spare embellishments, things that either might make stud earrings or I can add on to other projects. So I quite often like this one. I've just got some balm on my fingers and I'm just gonna pick a couple out and make a few little embellishments. And then I'll put them in a pot afterwards. So when I make embellishments, I just use a small amount of clay, pop them in, press them down and take them out. So that one is smaller than the actual mould, but that's absolutely fine. I don't want mine massive. You can see this clay is getting quite dry. Do the same again. In fact, we'll have a different one this time. Let's do this one. Again, it's not filling the whole of the mould, but I've got a tiny, teeny, tiny shell. And I'm quite happy with that. So you don't need to fill all of these moulds. And it's also worth bearing in mind that you don't want the top of the uh, moulded element to be rounded because it's quite difficult to fix it then. How cute is that? You get these series of really nice little embellishments on clay that would probably have dried up. Oh, not keen on that one. I think I'll do that one again. Pop it in. Press down. That's better. Lovely little shells there. That one looks less like a shell, but it's a nice spiral pattern. And so we've only got this teeny little bit left. What should we do? We should do it in this one. There, a really cute little, little shell. So that's a way just to Use up those pieces that are likely to dry out. You're not going to waste them because if, the, if it's some of your favourite little embellishments, you'll use them for all sorts of things. But I'm looking at these thinking, well, actually, there's a pair of stud earrings straight away. So they're definitely not wasted. <laughs> 